Hey guys, this is Gaston from Connecting Tennis. How are you? Welcome again uh, to another video. This time you can see we're not in a, in a court as big as the usual, okay? It's gonna be a little tougher to make the ball in here. But we're gonna be talking about something really, really important. This is something, okay? The training with the board is for me as important as the, the fitness or anything that you can do on the court, okay, when you're practicing. Um, of course, more for recreational and, and advanced players. We are gonna leave the, the professionals aside a little here, but still it's, it's very important that they do it a lot, okay? They, they talk with their coaches and they prepare for matches with the board, okay, of the court. So today I, I wanna show you one of the things that, that I think is really important and I think is gonna make a, a change or an impact in your game. It's gonna make you uh, a little more accurate in the, in the way you're playing and in the places you, you're trying to go for the ball. And it's when you try to replace or eliminate, okay, not 100%, but going more for placement over the power, okay? When you're focusing more on where you're putting the ball uh, and not so much in how hard you're hitting it sometimes and you're getting hard balls to the middle, okay? And they're not making a lot of damage in, the, in your opponent. And then you feel like, why this is happening if I'm hitting the ball really hard, okay? But you're not winning points or you're striving to, to close the points. So let's go. The first thing, okay, that, that I say is let's try to eliminate or forget about this half of the court, okay? And let's focus more in this other part of the court, okay, where we have the green part, all right? And this is going to be our target. So why do this? And there is a drill that I like to do a lot, okay, that it's great to practice this where you ask your player to stand first over here and then you ask your player to stand over here. When your player is over here, what you're gonna do is set up cones in corners, okay? Of course, this would be more like a body shot, okay, now from baseline. All right, okay, you try to put it, of course, you're not gonna put it out of the court, Okay, here the, the dot is a little move. You're gonna put it more close to the edge, okay, trying to get a good angle. You don't want him to force the lines. So the drill consists in the following. You're gonna be feeding balls from outside, okay, so you don't bother either if you're right or lefty, okay? So you don't, you don't get in the middle or you can do it from the middle because the idea, again, your player doesn't have to play to the middle. So this would be you, okay? feeding the ball, and these are the cones. What is important here, and it's, this is what I like to call the, the V, okay? How, you, how you're gonna direct, how you're gonna place the balls you play, depending where you are standing on the court. So let's say you start feeding balls here, okay? You're gonna try to do it. I like to do it always with goals, okay? So you're gonna be hitting balls until you knock at least the cones, you knock down the cones that are in the baseline. So, this is what I call the V, and it's when the player tries to hit, okay, those angles over there, okay, trying to hit those cones. Like I said, you don't have to go with a little risk here, you can start putting by here maybe, but what is important here is that the ball is going in this direction, okay, you're not leaving balls to the middle. There's, it happens a lot, I've seen in all the ages and all the levels, including professionals, okay, when the, when the players leave a lot of the balls in the middle, and of course, then the opponent take the chance to come to those angles and put you to run, okay? And start to dominate the point and then you are always in a, in a defending situation. So, from here, he's gonna try to go to the, to the wide cones, okay? Remember, not playing in the middle, not leaving a soft ball or easy ball in the middle where your opponent can take them the chance. Once he knocked down those cones, okay, or, or you think Okay, you're doing it good, you didn't knock them down, but, but you're going, you're understanding what you're doing. You're gonna start to feed balls in the middle of the court, okay, series line. With those balls, he has to try to reach these cones, okay? Here is more when you are gonna replace and give up the power to go for the placement, okay? When you're in the middle of the court, what you wanna achieve is taking out, okay, either with the former back and taking out the player of the court, so then you can go for this shot over here, and then maybe do one or two steps and step to the net, cover, okay, and then go and close with the ball to the empty space. There's a lot of lines, I know, 
but I think you're getting the idea of okay, what I'm trying to do. When you go to play, either if it's a friendly match, you play in a tournament, or you're doing it in practice, of course, if you can do it in practice first, it will be great for you to, to start to understand this and to, to implement it on your game. Remember, ask someone if you don't have a ball machine, if you have a coach or a friend, whoever you play with, to feed you balls, okay, from baseline over here, and start to go to those directions, okay, those cones, you can go two and one, or you can go one and one, you can go hit some with the forehand, some with the backhand, okay, forehand cross court, backhand cross court, with the forehand outside, okay, opening, and then you're gonna do it from inside of the court, okay, in the service line, and then again, you go to these cones, and once you get here to the volley, okay, after those balls, of, of, of course, you're not gonna hit this ball and run to the volley every single time, okay, run to the net, but from this position, if you can achieve these angles, okay, to put the player, to push the player out of the court, then you step up to the net, and is when you look for these angles, okay? So I'm gonna mark in another color, okay? So now you can see the difference here, and here, and from here you try to achieve, okay, to open the court, and then step up to the, to the net, and try to finish to those points over here. Basically, what I'm trying to tell you guys is, is stop just giving easy balls to the middle. You don't wanna play to this area in white over here, okay? Because if you leave it there, what is gonna happen is that you, your opponent is gonna start to take chance and play those angles that I'm asking you to play. Of course, if you watch the video and your opponent is watching the video, well, then it's gonna be a, a great match. You're gonna have guys gonna grind and fight a lot in a good match, which is great. But remember, try to avoid, okay, the soft and middle of the court and don't go to with too much risk, but yes, start to play through signs. Be the first, okay, in taking the risk, in, in going, trying to get the control of the point. One of the coming videos, uh, not in this one, but in the, in the one coming, okay, with the strategy, I'm gonna be talking in where is it good to place the serve, okay? Again, leaving again a little of power off and trying to play with those placements, okay, on the corners. And where are the good spots to go for a second ball? Very important training, okay? I do it a lot with my players. When they serve, I return the ball to a certain point and then they have to go with the second ball because they're where they struggle the most. You can have a great serve, but then if you don't know how to control the second ball that comes with no way to the middle of the court, it's kind of, of in vain and you're gonna be uh, not taking all the advantage of that, of that uh, serve. So again, I hope you guys start to implement this. I hope you, you guys like this explanation. Please give me, uh, leave me your thoughts and comments over here. If you have any strategy or, or any um, way of playing that you, you'd like me to, to explain or to, to teach you guys, just write it down here. I'm gonna do all the videos that you guys, uh, you guys ask. So I hope you like it. Remember to subscribe if you didn't, so you can stay in touch uh, with the channel. Thank you guys and see you next time.